In this section, we'll look at a little more involved equations, equations that are just a little bit longer to solve. So the order that we want to um, work on these equations is like this. First of all, we want to distribute to remove any parentheses. Then we want to combine any like terms on the left or on the right. So steps one and two are really about making the two sides separately as short as possible. Okay. Then we're going to move anything um, that has letters to one side of the equation using addition and subtraction. We usually often we usually move the letters to the left side of the equation, but it doesn't have to be. Then we'll move any terms that don't have letters to the opposite side of the equation using addition or subtraction. The very last step is to get the variable by itself by multiplying or dividing. Again, it's always about using the opposite operation. So let's look at this problem. We have 3x minus 5 equals 7. We're going to draw our line down through there. Now, if we look at the two sides separately, there is nothing we can do just on the left by itself. Nothing we can combine. There's nothing to simplify. The same is true on the right. There's nothing else we can do to make that side shorter. So then we're going to start moving things around. So we look on the side, there's let, the only letter in this problem is right here. So we want to get that letter by itself. So we start by moving this minus 5. Opposite operation from minus is plus. So we'll add 5 to both sides. This cancels out, leaving us with 3x on the left, keep the equal sign on the top, and then 7 plus 5 is 12. So now the last step is that we need to finish getting that x by itself. It's 3 times x, so the opposite of multiplication is division, so we'll divide both sides by 3, which leaves us with x is equal to to 4. Now we can check that if we go back over to the original problem. We have 3 and we got 4 as our answer minus 5. And we're trying to see does it equal 7. Well, we have 3 times 4 is 12 minus 5. And 12 minus 5 is 7. So it checks. So let's look at this problem. We have 4x plus 3x minus 6 equals 15. We're going to draw our line down. Now if we look on the left hand side, there is some things we can do here. We can put this 4x and that 3x together to make that side be shorter. Those are like terms. So 4x plus 3x is 7x. And we'll copy the rest of the problem. Okay, now we're ready to start moving some things. So to get away from this x, to move things away from this x, we have a minus 6. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add 6 to both sides. That leaves 7x on the left, and 15 plus 6 is 21. And then the very last step is always that multiplication or division. Whatever number is in front of the x, that's being multiplied by x. The opposite of multiplication is division, so we'll divide by that 7. And we have x is equal to 3. So in this problem, we have parentheses in our problem. We're still going to start by drawing our line straight down. So remember that as parentheses mean that that number is multiplied by everything inside. So we have negative 9 times r and then negative 9 times 2 is negative 18. We'll just write minus 18. 
And now that there's nothing else we can do on the left or on the right separately, we'll start moving things around. So we have this minus 18. We'll add 18. That will cancel that out. So on the left, we'll be left with negative 9r. On the right, we'll add together 3, 63 plus 18. And we get 81. So the left-hand side, we have negative 9 times r. So we'll divide, because the opposite of multiplication is division. And that leaves us with r on the left, and 81 divided by negative 9 is negative 9 on the right. So now let's look at the next one. We're still going to start by drawing our line down through there. And we're going to try to do everything we can on the two sides separately before we move anything. So the first thing is we're going to get rid of these parentheses. So we'll distribute or multiply. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times 2 is 6. And we still have this minus 4x. We have like terms on the left. We have 3x minus 4x. So we'll write that as negative 1x. We still have that minus 6 and that 3. Okay, so now it's time that we can start moving things around. We have minus 6, so we'll plus 6, because the opposite of subtraction is addition. And that leaves, on the left, minus 1x. And remember that minus 1x really just means minus x. We don't have to write the 1. 3 plus 6 is 9. Now, we're not done if there's a minus over here. The way we get rid of that is if we change the sign on the left, we have to change the sign on the right. So the minus x we're going to write as a positive x. It's opposite. And that means we do the opposite of the 9, which is negative 9. Okay, what we're really doing here, if we have negative 1x equals 9, is we're really dividing both sides by negative 1, which gives us x equals negative 9. I think it's easier to just think of changing the sign. I'll change the sign over here, and I'll change the sign over here. Now in this problem, we have letters on both sides of our equation. So this is the first time we've had this. We're still going to draw our line down through here. Now this doesn't really change anything. We just need to move the letters to one side first. So let's say that we're going to put all of our letters, anything that has a letter, on this side, and things that don't have letters on this side. So the problem is that this right here has a letter, and it's on our number side, so we want to move it. Well, it's really a plus 4m, so we'll minus 4m. I'm going to put it underneath the other m when I write it on the other side. So that will cancel this out. And 8m minus 4m leaves me 4m. And I still have plus 11 and minus 1. So now on, on the left side, I have this piece right here. Now it doesn't have a letter, but it's on the letter side, so I need it to be gone. So it's a plus 11, so I'll have minus 11. I'm going to write minus 11 on both sides. That will cancel out. And that leaves me with 4m on the left and negative 12 on the right. And now I need to get rid of that number that's in front of the m. That's always that last step. It's multiplication, so we divide by 4. So we get m is negative 3. Okay, so we'll do this example next. We have 3x minus 1 plus 5x equals 11x plus 11 plus x. Okay, this looks long, 
but it's not any different than anything we've already done. Remember, we want to do the sides separately first. So on the left-hand side, we have 3x plus 5x. Let's put those together first. We get 8x, and then there's still a minus 1. On the right-hand side, we have 11x plus x. They both have x's. Remember, this is really a 1x, so let's put those together to give us 12x. And we still have plus 11 over here. And now we have two separate sides. We want to have a letter side and a number side. So this has a letter, and it's on the number side, so I want to move it. Remember, it's really a plus if there's nothing in front of there. So we're going to write minus 12x on both sides. We'll put our like terms lined up so that they're easy to see. So 8x minus 12x is a negative 4x. And then we've got this minus 1 on the letter side. It doesn't have a letter, so we want to move it. So we'll do plus 1 on both sides. So we have negative 4x. That canceled out. 11 plus 1 is 12. Then finally, this is multiplication. Opposite of multiplication is division, so we'll divide by negative 4. That cancels out, leaving with x. And 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. We'll do one more example. We have 10 plus 5 times x minus 3 equals 9 minus 2x. We're going to do some simplifying on the left-hand side. So we'll, first of all, we'll get rid of those parentheses. So we'll have 10 plus 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times negative 3 or minus 3 is minus 15. Let's copy the rest of that. We have some like terms on the left-hand sides now. We have this 10 and this minus 15. So 10 minus 15 is minus 5. And I'm just going to write the 5x part first. And now we're ready to move things around. Remember, we want to choose a letter side. Uh -huh. And a number side. This is a letter, but it's on the number side, so I'm going to add 2x to move it. And that gives me 7x minus 5 equals 9. This is a number that's on the letter side, so I want to move it. So I get 7x equals 14. And then this is really multiplication, so the opposite of multiplication is division to cancel out. And that will leave me with an x on the left and 14 divided by 7, which is 2 on the right.